and then for logical reasoning, I'm having a hard time really. I get the last two, I, I X out all the questions, but I get to the last two and I always pick the wrong one. So do you have any like? Um, yeah, sure. So for logical reasoning, of course, process of elimination is important. It is useful. And when you're down to two, you're between typically, I would imagine the correct answer and a really tempting wrong answer. And so this is where your review process comes in. For every question you have difficulty with or get wrong or are not 100% sure on, you've got to look at what was tempting about the wrong answer choice that made you pick it or consider it and what ultimately makes it wrong. And what's discouraging about the right answer that pushes you away from it and what ultimately makes it correct. Because there, there are patterns, as you said, and you've done more logical reasoning, so you start to see the patterns there more. And it is worth spending more time on it because it is half the exam. But a lot of review to work to be done. And if you're, let's say if hypothetically you were getting a 170 on your practice tests, that would mean you were getting 10 questions wrong and maybe guessing on another 10 to 15. So that would be 25 questions to review. And if you're scoring lower than that, that means even more questions to review. Maybe you've got 40 to review. That takes mm -hmm. a long, long time. Because if you're spending at least five minutes per question you're reviewing, five times 40 is like 200. That's over three hours. Mm -hmm. This is a really time-consuming process, but it's worth it. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.